What's up, y'all? I am Jaren. I am a voice teacher, speech trainer, and the founder and owner of this Blessed by the Best studio, the Jaren M. LeGray Studio. I am so excited to talk about this performance. She smashed the stage, as we would expect her to, duh. But nevertheless, she's an amazing vocalist, an amazing performer. I love her so much. But before I get too far, I want to talk about this hoodie real quick. So y'all know in the one video that I did with Renee Rapp and Coco Jones with the Tummy Hurts remix that I did, I just kind of showed y'all this hoodie and if you guys liked it. And I got so many questions and comments and love about it, so I decided to make this available for y'all for pre-sale. It's gonna come out in March, but I wanna make sure y'all know that it's available for pre-sale, and I am so excited to be relaunching my merch. But some of you may not have seen the back of this hoodie, so I'm gonna show you the back real quick. I'm gonna show you the back, I'm gonna show you the back. Here it is, y'all, Be Vocally You. I have this on the back of all the hoodies. This is something that I say all the time in my videos. So I wanted to make sure this was available for you guys for pre-order, pre-sale. Hit the link in the description box. You can pre-order yours. It comes out this year in March, and I am so excited about it. So make sure you pre-order your hoodie, okay? And get the free shipping with the pre-order, okay? This is only going on for the pre-orders. You get the free shipping with the pre-sale, okay? So make sure you get your hoodie now to get the free shipping before everything changes, okay? <laughs> But back to the subject at hand, y'all. She is an amazing vocalist, and she gave such a wonderful tribute to such a wonderful performer and vocalist who left this earth last year. And when I watched the video of her singing on the Grammys, I got emotional. I got a little emotional when I heard the music and I saw the. I just, you know, I just, got, I just got emotional because Tina Turner was such an influence on so many greats that we love today. She walked so all of these people could run, you know. And so Fantasia is one of these people that can run because Tina walks and so I'm excited to talk about this tribute but before I get to it I know I'm talking a lot y'all but before I get to it I want to explain the video actually so this is not the actual performance okay this is going to be rehearsal footage that was posted on Instagram one of my favorite choreographers and creative directors Fatima oh I love her so much I am such a fan of Fatima Robinson she posted this footage of the rehearsal itself and I was like you know what this would be a cool perspective to get from this performance versus the actual performance this is also a very cool perspective to see the behind the scenes a little bit and to just see another angle another viewpoint of the process to get to where Fantasia was yesterday in terms of getting ready for the night. So the angle's not going to be so much focused on Fantasia by herself. It's going to be a wide angle for the whole rehearsal to see all the dancers and everything come together. So just know that but her vocals are still there. I promise you her vocals are still there. So yeah, let's get into it. Here is my own voice analysis of Fantasia singing Proud Mary in rehearsal for Grammys 2024. Grammys, you know what time it is. <laughs> now most of y'all might not know me. So now, let me reintroduce myself. Oh, left the good job down in the city. That city, city. So she played with the Y sound or that vowel of city. The word is city, but she said city, city. Then she went to the E sound, E, and did a vocal reemphasis on that E right there. So all together, it's city. And it's real chill, real soft. She bringing us in. You know, she's not giving everything right now. She's really kind of just setting the tone. And it's acapella. It's just her. So it's really setting the tone for what's coming. Oh, I just love that city. Oh, I love that city. Working for the man every night and day. Day, night and day. It wasn't day. It was day. It was almost like a E D E Y, if you will, like a D E H Y. Night and day, day, day. It was really more so like a smaller version of the word day, smaller in vowel shape. So instead of day, it was D D. These little changes can give so much effect and so much nuance to your vocal delivery. Just changing the vowel, playing with the finesse. I say the word finesse, nuance a lot, because these are all things you can change to make the art of your voice come alive in such different ways, in the genres that you sing in such different ways. But I never lost one. Of but I never lost one. She really played with those nasal consonants right there. But I never lost. And she's really playing with the other consonants to really kind of give her some articulatory bounce. 
this is so Fantasia to me. Like, how she's singing this, it's Fantasia singing Proud Mary. It's not karaoke. You know, it's not like I'm trying, it's like this is Fantasia's interpretation of Proud Mary. You know, and I really appreciate that about the performance. It's just, this is her version of Proud Mary. I'm sure if other artists were singing, they would sing it differently as well. It's not as right or wrong. The different people are going to sing it differently. But I just love Fantasia's elements in this version of Proud Mary. Because I was worried about the way that things might have been. Let's go. Cool. You know, the mic, the mic stand. Proud Mary. She broke up that word proud and added an H in there. And the proud Mary keep on burning. Whatever she did right there. So instead of proud, y'all kind of blended that together. Proud. She put the H in there. And of course I exaggerated the H for the sake of y'all hearing what I'm doing. But she added that H in there. Proud Mary keep on burning. Mm -hmm. Rolling, yeah. She almost adds breathiness to some of her phrases too, like things of phrases. Rolling, yeah. She has a little breathiness at the end right there. She does that a lot in her vocal delivery too, adds breathiness on certain syllables, or like certain nuances, you know, towards the end of phrases or in the middle of phrases. like she said rolling rolling instead of rolling rolling so she had like a breathy throw like an air throw maybe like an h like a rounded h rolling yeah rolling yeah you almost can see a little bit of her cheeks rolling maybe maybe not again this is a far angle so i can't see everything and hear everything i feel like i'm sensing a little bit of an h sound before the rolling rolling on the river <laughs> You see her articulation is a little bit more percussive. Well, I left the good job in the city to go, uh, working for the man every night and day. It said it before it was, well, I left the good job in the city. She almost had like a somatic solo at the beginning. So it was way more like chill and like according to her own tempo, kind of taking her time. But then here, well, I left the good job in the city to do, do, do. Working for the man every night and day. So you see there's a little more percussiveness in her vocal delivery, like the vocal fold usage and in her articulation. So there's more punch. There's more punch in the vocal delivery here. <laughs> proud Mary, not proud, proud. She brightened up that proud. We keep on burning, but then she brings it back down volume wise. It really paces herself. I love how she paces herself in this song. It's very easy to get over stimulated in a song like this. This song moves, it's a lot of movement beat wise and it moves very fast. And so if you don't pace yourself physically, vocally, it's really easy to get over text. But I feel like she really keeps control and really kind of wrangles the song by the bullhorns and just really keeps control of the song and really delivers it in a way where it's vocally smart, it's vocally in the vernacular of Tina Turner, and it's still vocally engaging to listen to. Grit. We're rolling on a river. A tiny bit of grit right there. We're rolling on a river. You see that little bit of compression? It's not so much a growl, but it's just a little push. We're rolling on a river. this too we just see how amazing a 
performer and vocalist Tina Turner really was. Like, she made this stuff look easy. All of this moving and twirling and spinning, I would have been like, rolling on the river, trying to catch my footing, you know? But it shows you, one, how amazing and how controlled, how poised, how top level Tina Turner really was to do this time after time and to deliver time after time well into her life. Like, this wasn't like I did it in my 20s and I'm done. Oh no, she did this for a long time and delivered each and every time. So that's number one. Number two, again, speaking of the poise and artistic sophistication that Fantasia has to be able to deliver the song and still keep her poise and control in the song, all that moving and twirling and stuff like that. I mean, she's still delivering the song in such a great way with all of this physical movement that has to go in to singing this song. about Fatima real quick. Just so y'all who don't know, she's worked with Aaliyah. She's worked with Michael Jackson. She did Dreamgirls, the Beyonce, Jennifer Hudson movie. She put that together movement-wise, choreographed that. So she ain't nothing to play with, okay? This is why I love Fatima. Her moves are so clean. Her moves are so precise, but it still has artistic angles to it. Like, it's almost like her movements are like a painting to me. I just always love how she choreographed and how she made things move on stages and things like that and in videos. I mean, again, I have loved Fatima forever. And if you see this, Miss Fatima Robert, I love you. I am such a fan of yours. If you ever see this, I love you so much. I really, really do. is so church. I mean, I've always thought that. I know I go to church on almost every video that I do, but this song is so church. And it has such a churchy rock element to it. And Fantasia is the perfect person to sing a song like this because she can bring all those elements together because no matter what genre Fantasia gonna sing, it's gonna be some church. And I mean that in the most loving, respectful way because I love it. little grit in there yeah 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 that was kind of like a dorinda type of move yeah 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 nah, like a little dorinda karen thing <laughs> come on again church again church okay <laughs> these backer singers are singing too rolling 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 on the river I like the rolling, the little swell, rolling. And it's almost like a swell with an open mouth, a more open mouth gradually. Rolling, rolling, rolling on the river. Yeah. It sounds very gospely, but still very conducive to the genre. I like this arrangement. It's it's updated, it's, it's current, it's very fitting for the stage, but it's still keeping true to the song itself. You know, and I really respect that. So shout out to Adam Blackstone, Fantasia, all the people who arranged it. Shout out to y'all as well, okay? I love that Tina, we love you. Tina, we love you. Tina, we I love that. I love how she makes everything so connective in relationship. She gonna call out a name. She gonna look at you. I just love that element of Fantasia. She makes everything so connective and so humane. You know, and so we're honoring Tina. So we, hey, Tina, we love you. Tina, we love you. She's saying that like, girl, we love you. You know, and we, we do. We, I love you. We love you. We miss you and we love you for real. If 
you enjoyed this analysis, click subscribe down below to click the alert button next to it so you know when the next video is posted. And give this a thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it. And remember, this hoodie's on pre-order right now, so remember it comes out in March. But get your pre-order by clicking the link below and get your hoodie for free shipping when it comes out, okay? So make sure you do that. And as I will always, always say to you, be vocally bold, creative, and aware. But most of all, be vocally you! <laughs> I love y'all so much and I'll see y'all soon.